Hi everybody, Don Giannetti from Lighting Essentials and Project 52. We're starting a new uh, weekly broadcast called Best of Project 52. And each week I will go through the images submitted and choose the ones that I thought were just exceptional. We have a lot of great photographs. I could probably do a show on all of the images uh, that are turned in, but I want to keep these shows fairly short, five, six, eight minutes max, uh, and just go through some of the lovely shots that were turned in. So let's start here on our first one with uh, a photograph from Carmen Blake. Uh, portrait. This was for one of the assignments in Project 52, and I really, really liked what she did with the light. Uh, this is a big, a big uh, uh, octa that she has here, which you can see back there. I thought this mirror uh, in the back with the, the, the little um, surprise uh, um, Easter egg of them shooting back there was pretty clever, and she framed it very well. Um, co composition is good, wide angle lens, we're getting the ceiling and the floor, and yet Carmen's really got a nice p body position and a very good uh, overall position for her uh, subject here because she doesn't look distorted at all. Even though, like I say, this is a fairly wide angle lens, Carmen zeroed it out so we have verticals uh, and done a great job. So I just like that little Easter egg and I really liked what Carmen did on the main light up here. Dale Frederick, over in the product class, turned in uh, this shot of a coffee grinder. Uh, and I thought he did a really nice job. You'll notice that he's got this uh, reliefed uh, logo and the reliefed logo over here. These are a couple of uh, extra uh, of uh, layered shots. In other words, uh, put together in Photoshop. He turned the light on. Uh, kept the light really great on the button, and look at the beautiful highlights he's got on the uh, coffee maker. So we see the texture, we see the shape, we see all of what we need to see on this unit uh, to really tell a story uh, about what it does. So uh, that's Dale Frederick did a great job there. Uh, Cam Hajri from over in the UK turned in this photograph, and for some reason... And I don't know exactly why, but this photograph reminds me absolutely of California. I can, I, I mean, I can see sitting on the beach there with the sun coming through very soft uh, fog late in the day uh, and these cupcakes. Now, there's, you know, there's six cupcakes here, um, which would be, for me, a snack. So this is sort of a California snack. Um, but I just love the light, this big, big scrim that he's got in the back. It's a double scrim, uh, strobes coming through it. Really lovely, um, really lovely shot by Cam Hajri in uh, Manchester. Leonardo Ferry turned in this photograph, uh, still life with flower, for uh, the new Project 2017. And I thought he did a pretty exceptional job with it. It's got a lot of texture everywhere. The flowers are right up here in the eyes. We've got all this jewelry down here. Uh, really, really uh, quite an interesting still life. Very well done. One main light, a couple of little fills here and there. But uh, a sweet image, uh, Leonardo. Great job. Siobhan shot an iron. And not just... Uh, uh, just an iron, but a very well done shot. Uh, softbox is to the left. Big white card is carefully positioned to the right uh, so that all of this chrome really reflects it. We've got a beautiful uh, liquid hi highlight all the way down the side of this. Nice light from the front here. And even the cord has great light on it and it very uh, gently tucked back here so um, we don't really see the cord. We kind of know it's there, but we don't really see it as being part of the image. Sometimes making a photograph of a kitchen appliance, the hardest thing you can shoot is the cord. Um, they don't really take direction well, nor do they uh, do a great job listening to what we want. Um, and the last shot is by So Fong, Anjali Fong, uh, and she's in... Uh, 
Louisville, I think. Oh, she's going to kill me. Uh, anyway, uh, this uh, really well done uh, steamer. We've got the uh, steam effects coming out up here. This is done in Photoshop. She's reworking this a little bit. Uh, but great highlights all the way through. There are lots of color. A really, really nice product from the product class. So those are the uh, shots from this week that I just thought were pretty exceptional. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. We'll be doing this every week. Uh, have a great weekend, folks, and see you next time.